Cancer Leos, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Riley Devine here, here with you. Just about to bust the move on your reading. All right, so don't mind the smoky smoke, right? I got my special concoction of sage and such to uh, cleanse the energy, see what I'm saying? Anyways, this might be much. Let's just see if I can put it over here. Yeah, that's better. All right. Now that we got that cleared up, let me shuffle these cards up here real quick and we'll get into your messages, all right? So I'm using two decks. I kind of like the idea because I get doubles. And that just makes it a little more interesting on the intuition to try to, you know, get your message out. All right, cool. So now that we got that all figured out, I want to give a shout out to you on this video and to my subscribers and my members. I appreciate y'all. You guys are just fantastic. I appreciate the support that you give to me, you give to the channel, obviously, and to other subscribers. Mwah. Fantastic. All right. Mm -hmm. bah, 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 bah. How are you? It's been a minute, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, I hear you. I'm just a one-man band, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do it all, so I thank you for your patience and your time. All right, first card for you, right here. And now, Queen of Wands. Oh, good job. What you know about her? Mm-hmm. Looks like uh, pretty beautiful. Mm-hmm. Definitely uh, creative. Look at the sunflower. That's fantastic. Or two, three of them. Oh, three. Okay. That's just kind of your energy now. So you're in this creative kind of beautiful stance, like a Renaissance idea. Let's uh, get your second card here and see where we're going with this fancy free creative person that you're being. Queen of Swords. Now that is a deadly duo. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Mm. Okay. Definitely uh, accentuating the idea of being intelligent for sure, but also um, you speak your ideas uh, very bluntly, right? Right, like right to the point. So your creative flow is basically backed up by the Queen of Swords that just cuts out nonsense, right? So it's like the rawness, the authenticity that I'm feeling here, okay? Mm, where are we going with this? I don't know. Let's just keep going. Hop on. You're on the train now. It's too late to get off. So stick to the end of the video, right? So then you get your entire message. Good. All right. First card of your story, because this these two cards right here represent your duality. Chang. I told you you were creative, son of a gun. See that? Bam. That's artistic, creative. That's like passion. Ooh, you got something going on. There's a new opportunity coming for you. That has to do with this energy of the creative side of this Queen of Wands, right? Beautiful, I told you, Renaissance, artistic kind of stuff, right? Which represents like the creative project that goes with this opportunity. But now the wand itself here kind of represents the Queen of Swords. She will cut things out of your life, which basically that wand now turns into a billy club, right? Whacking moles. I should put that in title, Whack-a-mole. <laughs> Anyways, hilarious, I know, I'm a genius at that, okay. There's your Ace of Wands. That's a brand new opportunity. So definitely something nice is coming in for you. Two of Swords on guard. Mm. So this is going to leave you no options but to just go with what it is. Okay, so you're indifferent to making a decision. That means you really should keep the blindfold on which represents like blocking out your swords, which is representing your mind and your communication. So eliminating you using your thoughts and not 
changing the flow of this opportunity. Create, let it flow, let the passion, let it go from your soul, right? And sometimes we can't do that because our minds trick us all the time. You get it? Good. Okay. I don't talk like a regular person, you know what I mean? I talk cryptic, intelligent. <laughs> uh, I just barrel full of monkeys over here. Psh, there's Hermit. So you need to analyze this with um, the inner light. Like I said, the passion, right? Because that Hermit's damn holding. Holding that light, which is the representation of your inner light, your inner truth, your inner knowing. So really, you have to look at this from the creative point of view. So then you don't taint or alter the opportunity. Ooh, this one's deep. Shit. We should have went live for this one. <laughs> eh, you know, I don't like the live so much. Not that I'm nervous or nothing like that, but it's just all the evil beady eyes. Okay, breaks the flow or they try to, you know. But you just can't, Joe, so why don't you go and kiss a hoe. <laughs> Three radicals. There's your collaboration. And there's your teamwork. <clears throat> so the teamwork right here clearly represents the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Why? Because it's right next to that. You're not teaming up with anybody other than maybe with this project. But that's not really represented because that would be closer towards that Ace of Wands strengthening that card, right? Giving it that energy of assist, right? So now the collaboration is between your creative side and your freaking logical side. Like I told you, the Queen of Swords sitting right here, very commanding of her thoughts. Which, with that sword, could, if you think in a way that this is saying not to, like use your brain at all, innocent, you know what I mean? They're using your brain, obviously we use it, but don't let it tweak and taint this, okay? Because she's looking like she's wanting to cut it off. Right, cut down that wand. I don't know, I thought it was like at a marionette or something. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you take a little nap in the afternoon, you wake up and you're all like, wow, energizer bunnied. Full strength, full charge, right? Yeah, so that's the creative flow, you know? All right, so now the, the collaboration is between these two of yourself, right? So maybe you need to use your mind power to keep your creative side going. Maybe you need to use more of your creative side and less your mind side. This is kind of the gist because you got an opportunity coming for you that it looked like on the verge of you could blow it. Bam. The hanged man. Just hanging out, are you? It's just telling you to put pause, put a chill on this, keep this, this congruent, fluid energy going with yourself as far as your ability to be a no-nonsense kind of person and balancing it with the creative artsy renaissance type okay that's gonna make this really shine more okay oh oh Whew. yeah this pausing the conflict is within yourself because like I said, this opportunity seems so strong that you could cut it out of your mind. Like to you have your mind cut it off, I mean. And be like, well, that, that ain't for me. <laughs> but your soul is driving you to say, this is given to you from the divine. Hand it right to you. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Hit that like button for me, please. And maybe subscribe, you know, become part of this family. Check out my stuff. You know, I got a pretty good talent going on here. Okay, let's keep moving on. I actually multifaceted talent. Whoosh, there it is, the moon. When the moon hits your eye like a big whopping wand. That's some water. Well, 
You're going to have to keep this inner conflict in the dark. Okay, you have to keep it under the pale moonlight, right? While you're in this process of figuring out how to, uh, you know, get these two sides of you to really, you know, work together for this project. Because something with your logic and your passion, your creative side needs to be together in order for this to work. This is all really what I'm trying to say. Like, if you have, like, uh, a deadbolt on your front door, you just can't use any key to get in. Well, unless you're like, you know, locksmith, then you got these little weird tools, you wiggle shit in, now you're in. But that's still not a key. So you have the key to unlock that door, because you got two locks. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Alright, so now there is some breaking news. Breaking news with Chuck Todd. I mean, I'm not dissing the guy. If you know who that guy is. He was like some news anchor, some sap. Some sap. I didn't mean to say some sap. I'm sorry, Chucky. I didn't really mean to do that. Uh, some crap I meant to say, but I, you know, I got youngins on here too, so I gotta keep it real and chill, but you know, it's hard to find a balance. But anyways, it is so weird to have two first names. Like, the parents must have really been narcissists because they probably enjoyed the attention the kid gave or needed when he came home from school because he got it so ridiculed. Chuck Todd, like, that's crazy. I'm not bashing the guy, just saying, that's messed up. <laughs> Don't get me started, okay? Because I'm just, I'm hot, like I told you, baby. Let's keep on rolling. <laughs> Some news is coming in for you here. Hear ye, hear ye, all hear ye that ye be here. Oh, full of myself today, I love it. There it is, Six of Swords, okay. So guess what? When you find this, this time to maybe, at night, pray, meditate, whatever you gotta do, however you gotta do it to get these two sides of you to be balanced and eliminate that inner conflict and competition within, in your own self because you're self-doubting something with this. You get news, there's wind of something. So the wind, because that page of cups is looking this way towards the ace of wands, both at the ends, that's magnetizing, right? That, draws in all this energy. So what I'm saying is the news refers to this opportunity that really looks like it's gonna be smooth sailing for you. Because sixes represent that perseverance, endurance, struggle, it's smooth, it's easy. No resistance. And that no resistance is what? You fighting yourself with that five of wands. Conflict, struggle, strife, competition. Right? So maybe you were wanting to cut it out because you fear competition. I don't know. But I think you guys especially should love competition. Cheers to you. All right. Let's keep going. Yep, my good old Cancer Leo's. The, the lioness crab. Crab lioness, isn't there something? Wow. I was going to go somewhere with that. But anyways, there it is. There is your Seven of Swords. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Thirteen Swords. <laughs> Thirteen Swords! Okay. Well, you know how it's going to be easy? Because you're not going to be taking on too much. Because you're collaborating with yourself and getting that balance between your creative side, which could really explode violently as like a ferocious lion in the Serengeti, chasing the gazelle, right? But also fine tuning that thought process, to slowing it down to now chilling out in the shade like a, a, a cancer crab would, right? I now chilling, sensitive to the emotions, those kind of things. So in that symbology, this is definitely showing that there will be news to make you feel that you you won't have to take on too much because i was waiting for the damn eight of swords to come out six seven eight hey why is six why is six afraid of seven 
I don't know, maybe because 789. Oh. <laughs> Told you I wasn't good at math. Here's your ace of cups. Oh. Man. When you have this perspective, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna feel like totally emotionally like gratified, satisfied, pleased, like just so much lovey-dovey for this opportunity, gratefulness for sure, that it's not a load that you're gonna have to take to debate whether it was gonna be too much work to carry on this freaking project, possibly by yourself. Because the collaboration with that Three of Pentacles teamwork is really within yourself. Your logic and your creative passion inside. Because like I said, your, pa your, your passions could explode and you can't control it because you're just like, well, now I did this painting, I want to do this and blah, 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 blah. And no control of your mind to like, you know, stretch it out. That way the creative juices get flowing better, right? I hope you're digging it because this is a pretty rock steady reading. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We are gonna wind up here with a slam dunk home run, last card of your story. But wait, you better sit down because I got your outcome to do. So two more cards after that. Shh. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Well, that is a curveball and a half. How do you go from the Ace of Cups to the uh, Nine? Of swords. See, it said eight, but nine came out. Oh no, no, we'll see if it's gonna come out. Cause six, afraid of seven. Cause seven, eight, nine, I get it. <laughs> I'm almost prophesizing the joke here in the tarot reading. How magical is that? <laughs> Holy shnikes. I can't with that. Oh my bananas, if that comes out, man, that's like better than winning the lottery. I tell you that, that would be something else. Well, you got two more chances to see if that's gonna happen, but we don't want you in the Eight of Swords, okay? We really don't, but yeah, giddy up. Okay, so this is what you're worried about, okay? Even though you're gonna be emotionally gratified to know that whatever that you hear coming in that, that is going to apply to this creative project, this opportunity that you got coming before you, um, the anxiety and the stress that you have is you're worried about your fireside. You're ready, you're just worried that you're gonna take off too quickly and too passionately, and then your mind won't be able to catch up. Because you have the Leo with the fire and then you have the Cancer with the water. What? What? Sometimes the fire burns on water. Did you know that? How? Well, well, I thought water would put out a fire. Sure. Try some water on a grease fire and tell me if that shit goes out. I don't think so. <laughs> so you have anxiety about this taking off too quick. Mm, burning up. Peeling rubber. Burning your tires. Wow. Okay, but giddy up is good because maybe this, I mean, you could be worried about when the hell this is gonna even happen. That's like a plan B. We'll see, let's pull another card. There it is. Ooh, it's a sword. Mm. But it's only one, Ace of Swords. Oh. Isn't this the truth in clarity? It sure is. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Well now, looks like we're at like stalemate here with the ending. So don't get up yet because I'm gonna pull a couple more cards, at least one more each for the balance of obviously the universe, All right? So I want more clarity on this, knowing that you know yourself and you'll take right off. I think that's kind of somewhat representative of like an impulse card that Knight of Wands. Here we go. Devil, see? Mm, you know yourself pretty well. The truth is you know that you can self-sabotage yourself by what? Peeling rubber, burning out, taking off, slingshot, bye. Ooh, this is where your mind comes in. This is all about the balance and the friggin' 
point of what I'm even trying to tell you from the beginning is you gotta get those two together, right? So pull a little of your logic to pull back some of your creative side because you know you gotta slow down. You just do. And if you don't, you gotta take off. And it looks like the truth is you could ruin this project. <gasps> I think my mother always said something like, um, something about too many chiefs and not enough Indians, right? So what it means is like basically what I interpret is like the balance has shifted too much one way, which would be the chiefs. Everybody wants to be the chief, but nobody wants to be the, you know. Let's just keep going. I'm certainly not bashing any kind of Native American, right? Because why? I listen to the shamanic drums at night. Boom, boom, boom. Right? And I think, I swear, in their uh, chants they do, some of them, some certain ones, I swear you hear Yahweh. Because they scream like banshees. Not fake, not banshees, wolves, like, I don't know, even a freaking bobcat, because they scream like little girls. <laughs> but nonetheless, yeah, pretty powerful stuff. All right. So we're going to try to avoid this self-sabotaging, okay? Get it together. I can't. You are not going to believe this. I, I am, I am like, psst. come on, Sage, come on, Sage. Come on, baby. Let's get it going. Oh, yeah. I can't with that. I'm like, I don't want to really show you, but I got it because it's a part of it. So there's the devil again. And this is exactly why I do the two cards. So we'll just cleanse that off. The two decks, right? Because it makes it harder to understand. What the hell you mean, double devils? Never in a reading in my life am I afraid, hell no, should you be no. Why? Because you know the double trouble that you can give yourself. Because if cancer gets into their shadow side and the Leo part of you gets in your shadow side, well, you're completely double devils. In that shadow sense, right? Mm. Y'all know yourself, so I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm just trying to really uh, assimilate that I understand how you guys are put together. We gotta keep going with the clarity. Now it looks like we're in overtime. So if you wanna take a break right now, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, go get some drink, because I'm going to shuffle this up real quick. And we're gonna get just two more because I, I can't leave it like that. This is absolutely bananas. saves the day unbelievable talk about your bottom of the ninth with two outs three balls and two strikes you got that pitch coming up that's about 97 to 102 miles an hour people can't even blink that fast well I mean we do but you're not gonna consciously see it like this ball coming in that fast because here she is the savior of the day So you know how this one empress can knock out two devils? By stepping into the divine feminine, your feminine side, your nurturing, your loving, your motherly, your unconditional side. This is what's gonna help you bolster your self-sabotaging of this opportunity. I don't know why this is so prominent with this opportunity coming for you, but it is, it is big energy, right? This could lead to a lot of good things. But before you can even sniff at this, you have a lot of work to put in. But the way to fight it is with that love. Love yourself for the way that you know you think and how you could be so in your head and cutting things off because you have anxiety, cancer. Okay, that's you, sorry. But then the Leo's like, let's go, charge, impulsive, does some shit. It's like, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So now you're struggling with yourself to balance that both out. And this is what they're saying. And you do that 
by love and both sides is of allowing yourself to get in the two a little bit of overthinking and a little bit of fired up. You gotta fine tune it just to get to that right moment. Because that is what it's going to take for this opportunity to go anywhere. Wow. Six of Pentacles, there it is. This is the even, Steven, balance, even give and take. Six of Pentacles. What? Now I see, I know there was a reason why I didn't want to just hit the brakes and get the clarity. Because getting into this Empress energy will give you the balance of your sword of queen and the wand of queen. Two queens. That's one mighty person with all this fire and then all this intellectual mind like, pff, what? Off with your head. Ooh, that has been a ginormous revelation, right? That was amazing because I'm going to leave it right there. So now we're hitting the brakes, right? I'll be sitting down, put on your seatbelts. About to hit the brakes, people. All right. Mm. Okay, enjoy that with my friends. That was stupendously, fantastically wonderful, I think. Because you guys have tendencies like that to go one way or the other and you can't pull it back. Okay? Trust me, I know. I'm just using these cards to tell you and show you. I don't even need these song bitches. Okay? I really don't. But this is just to help you guys understand and put things in perspective. Because a lot of people are afraid of Tarot. Right? Well, it goes way back to ancient times. So, I don't know. It seemed to be pretty, pretty, uh, necessary. Okay? For us to not only understand the mysteries of life, but the mysteries of within ourselves. Because if you didn't know what a Cancer is or a Leo, then how the hell are you going to understand the behaviors and the personality characteristics that you there behold upon yourself to make those two, being you as a cusper, that one individual? Duality, my friends. All right? Yeah. Anyways, get out of here. Go have fun. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you again. Peace and pray. Bless and be brave. And this was a badass reading. Congratulations, it's all yours. See you.